Hello everybody, welcome back to EAFC 24. Foodies is officially here. And yeah, we start off with this message, a celebration of everything FC 24. Select players will be receiving stat upgrades and more. Icons will make their foodies debut, joining heroes and premium chem foodie items this year. Additionally, all foodies base items will have radioactive chemistry links. Nice. Uh, batch one of best of re-releases. Let's go. Hopefully they have some team of the weeks, which that'd be very helpful. And with season 8 having just kicked off, make sure you're logging in daily to see the latest content tied to XP. Also, don't miss the Foodies Cup launching today to earn some great rewards. Start your Foodies journey today with an 85-3. Nice. Ooh, the Foodies double active evil slots. The number of active evil slots has increased from 1 to 2 during Foodies, which means you can now make progress towards upgrading two evil items in-game at the same time. Why couldn't this be a thing at the very beginning, EA? Come on, man. Give me a break. I mean, hey, this is this gives us good indication that this is where they're heading towards uh, for next year. So that's a that's a plus. That's a massive plus. I'll definitely take that. So speaking of um, speaking of evolutions, then let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what the evolutions are like. Uh, yeah, you're a defender. So I wasn't really working on those ones anyway, so it's fine. I'm working on Kulusevsky right now, if anything. All right. Do we have any new foodies? We have the foodies countdown. We have the foodies duo one and two. And this one is a 92 overall max with 95 pace, two max playstyles, and max nine playstyles. And this one gives um, plus two pace, plus two shooting, plus two plus whoa, plus four passing, plus three dribbling, plus two defending, and plus six physicals. So who falls into this one? A lot apparently. Uh, Maldini base Maldini falls into this. Ramirez falls into this one as well. Socrates, Dalglish. Um, not that it matters here. Buongiorno, Mateus again. I mean, at the end of it all, the best part about this whole thing, Ginola again. God, Ginola's just been falling into a lot of these evils, haven't he? hasn't he? Not that it really matters there, but it's fine. Um, and I'm assuming they're both the same, right? So yeah, it's fine. I mean, hey, it's good for a free Evo, to be fair. So, hopefully, we'll get more Evos throughout the throughout the week. But in any case, um, it's a pretty decent upgrade. Not gonna lie, we we still have the Foodies countdown as well. So, you know, that's that's good and all. All right, so good stuff. First off, what do we got for SPCs then? We got the Foodies Daily login, of course, and we got the re-release Batch One Player Pick. It's uh, one squad. And it is a 86 overall rating. Well, the thing is, we don't know. Um, we don't know who's in the first batch. So, either way, we won't know what it would, what the, how good the pack is, until we see the actual, like, you know, the actual batch. So, an 86 squad though. That's that seems kind of spendy, don't you think? Uh, objectives. What do we got? Uh, there's the nation login. That's the the daily login, rather. Sorry. Uh, there is a footies cup right here. We got Karim Karim Adiemi for, um, for as an objective. He looks really good. The dribbling is a bit off a bit, but you know the composure is kind of weird. But as a winger, he'll be insane to be fair. So not much of a problem. We have daily playback, 500 XP for com just playing your three games today. And another 500 XP for later on. So, pretty good. And you get Bremer as the reward. Which looks decent. Uh, he has an incisive pass for some reason. I don't know how. He can only play center back. Which I guess it could be useful for those kind of like run-ins. But we'll have to see. In any case, uh, anything else in the live? Kind of like FC uh, live, seasonal. Uh, Dirk Cow, Footy's home and away. You get the Footy, Footy's home kit. Footy's away kit. I'm assuming that's a store thing, but well, well, one, we're not going to touch that. Uh, look at Modric, uh, looking real nice, of course. Uh, ping pass, technical, intercept, and anticipate. Yeah, it's just a really good car. Five star, five star. Kaka at striker, six foot one, 95 pace, 97 shooting, 95 dribbling. Five star, five star as well. High, high work rates. Finesse shot, technical, rapid, and first touch plus. That's insane. Really good card. Very expensive, I'm assuming. Uh, 90, 290s, 189, 188, 286s, 84, 83. It's actually not that bad. It's fairly, 
Yeah, for the most part, it's fairly priced, I think. Really nice. Nothing too bad. You got the 85 fives, grand finals, Lissandra Martinez, uh, tradable stuff. Any other massive upgrades we can look at? Um, nothing really there. Nothing really there. Okay, so nothing there. There's a daily challenge now with a rare mega pack. Okay, fine. Exchanges, nothing there. Foundations. I'm turning into Prime Nepenthes right now with all the stuff I'm looking at. But to be honest, I don't really have a lot of packs saved. Uh, but I'll definitely start saving for a future video. Uh, in any case, let's start off to see if we pack ourselves any uh, promo cards out of these uh, player packs. Again, I don't even know who's in the who's in the batch right now. Who's in the best of um, team right now? So right now it's just a mystery. 83-2 though. What do we got? Ooh, is this a Trailblazer? And it looks like we start with Dante, right? No, Marquinhos. Marquinhos Trailblazer. So um, Trailblazers are back. And that's an 88 rated. That's not too bad for a, for a card. I mean, hey, we'll take we'll take a Marquinhos. He's gonna be very cheap in the market now. Now that he's back in packs, but 88 rated. Not too bad. Pretty good. So Trailblazers are back. I'm assuming. Centurions are back, you know, my, that's my guess. 85-3. Ooh, who's this? Is that our Road to the Knockout? That's Pop. Uh, 88 Pop. Oh no, it's a Winter Wild card. That's what it is. Okay, so Winter Wild cards are back still. And we get ourselves a Balde, 86. That's going to be the fun part about these, is that some of these cards are just not going to evolve, or like walk out good you know but at least we're getting some specials and that's the that's the least we can say about some of this stuff to be fair all right so getting plenty of good packs um are there any informs in those packs however that's what i want to know for the most part uh nike is there a list of um is there a list for how many um uh, Okay, there's a QR code, so maybe let me just uh, scan that real quick. Let me just uh, take a look here. All right, uh, open link. Let's see what we got. Uh, footies is here. Okay, cool. Click here for a look at who's the. We got the spreadsheet right here, I think. Okay, so the spreadsheet we have. Team of the Year, Zin uh, Kylian Mbappe, Future Stars Icon, Zinedine Zidane. Uh, we have some Team of the Season pluses, to be fair. We have some Team of the Seasons. So that's good. That's really good, actually. We, we actually do have live Team of the Seasons, Team of the Seasons, Triple Threat, Ultimate Wild Cards, uh, Winter Wild Cards. Uh, we do have some of the cheaper Wild Cards as well, 85, plus, 85 rated, 86 rated. Thunderstrucks, Future Stars, Triple Threat. Centurions, FC Versus. Uh, who are the more like insane ones that we could probably get, right? Um, we get Vandazar for, uh, for birthday. So, for birthday icons are also back. Uh, FC Hero, uh, Ramirez is back as well. Ian Wright. Foot Centurions, Eusebio is back as well. Um... Yeah, there's some Team of the Seasons, which is pretty nice. Christian Pulisic, Team of the Season, Phil, Phil Foden, Ronaldinho, Thunderstruck icon. Thunderstruck, okay. Um, Di Maria, Maldini, uh, Team of the Year icon R9. Ooh, Team of the Year icon R9 is back. Nice. Uh, yeah, some insane cards, to be fair. Some pretty nice cards. So, yeah, if you guys saved yourself those 84 pluses and stuff like that, then... By all means, open them up right now. It's about as good as time to get some of those players. Um, Takafusa Kubo Trailblazers. I'm looking for some of the stuff for the RTG, but I already have uh, Trailbla uh, Trailblazer um, Kubo. And I've literally not used them. Um, I really wish they could have added Kauta Mitoma Trailblazer, but it's fine. I already have a way more better version than Mitoma anyway, so it's fine. All right. So that's pretty much the content today, guys. We could try our hand at one of the foodies re-release batch um we don't know what to expect but i don't even know if i have enough fodder to be fair uh, or maybe i do let's try it out let's give it a try right let's just use the pop that we just obtained to uh open this baby up and let's see how well it goes 
So we have uh, Pope, Chuameni, National Wang, uh, Pope. Um, who's left? Just another 83. Do I have enough for an 86? Not quite enough. So that's already a problem. We have Marquinhos though, so we can probably use him in Balde. Um, put Marquinhos here and maybe Balde there. Not quite enough either. Should I just be dumb and just try it out with uh, Martinez? I have an untradeable Martinez. Why not try him out? Okay, that's enough. We'll put some 83s in here. That's not enough quite. Maybe for this one? Yep, that works. That works for me. All right, let's try this re-release batch one uh, player pick. Let's see if these are good. These are, I think these are infinitely re uh, tradable, right? I mean, um, uh, repeatable, right? Let me just double check real quick before I open that up. Um, yeah, they're infinitely repeatable and they'll expire in six days. So let's go ahead and try it out and let's see who we get end up getting on this footies batch re-release um, batch one. So here we go. We're going to get ourselves Willian. Is Willian still expensive? That's kind of curious because Willian used to be so expensive. I mean, he's still kind of decent to be fair. He did get those upgrades. I mean, yeah. How much is he right now? He has to be something a little, a little bit, right? Wow, he dropped to like 80k. That's insane. He used to be like a mil when he released. like Almost like two mil. And to be fair, like, he's not super terrible either. I'm pretty sure he could probably get upgraded. Can he? Now that I'm thinking about it. No, I don't think he can. It's a 92 plus. 92 rated max. Uh, it's a max 92 pace. Let me check the evolutions real quick. Let me check the, um, the available evolutions that we got now. Uh, if any of them fit. Oh, no, he does fit. He does fit. It's 95 pace. That's what it was. So you can upgrade Willian. And you know, you know what? He looks pretty good. Not gonna lie. He still has four star, four star, which is a bit like bad. But overall, the play, the the playstyle pluses that he's gonna get, like the pink pass and the aerial plus, for some reason, um, he's five nine, so that's not really gonna help. But everything else looks really good. That's actually a pretty good evolution. I mean, hey, if you if you guys got it, does he work for this one too? No, he's, oh no, he's 91 overall. That's what it, that's what he is. He's 91, yeah. So it wouldn't work. All right, cool. But yeah, that's pretty much a good uh, good pick right there. Uh, it's not too bad. All right. With that being said, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you all next time. See ya.